What's going on you guys? So we are finally getting back on the road after being off of the road for about two and a half weeks. All right now I'm just picking up the trailer. We're getting ready to go pick up our first load for the week. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna break everything down. I'm gonna see, you know, what we gross for the week. This week I'm gonna share it with you guys. See how it works out, man. You know, I haven't been on the road, like I said, in two and a half weeks. Rates been dropping, rates been looking shitty. It's tough out here right now, you know? And, and I think everyone's, you know, feeling it. Whether you got direct uh, contacts, whether you're on the low board, you know, no matter which way you're looking at things. And that's what I'm gonna do this week. We're getting ready to roll. We're picking up a load, going over to Florida, man. Not really a lane we usually run, but the best load that we got out of here, the best load we got out of Houston is an oversized load going to Northern Florida. It's not too far from Jacksonville, so we'll probably pull our next load out of Jacksonville. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Let's see how this week goes. All right, so this is where we're starting off with our fuel at. The auxiliary is empty, and we pretty much got nothing in the truck, so we're gonna fill up. That's gonna be our first fill up for the week. What's going on, brother? Yeah, I know you don't know me, but I'll, I'll follow you on, on uh, YouTube, on Instagram. YouTube, bro. Dope, you man. Me. Appreciate that, man. That's what's up, man. Glad to hear that, man. I'm you been out starting. here? I'm really starting, bro. But um, I don't pull anything, but I'm working for a company, but I've been watching your videos. And That's dope, man. Yeah, bro. So you getting in the hot shot, or you said right now you just taking well, your time? I managed to get a trailer, but it's just little by little. I got I you, started, man. So. Take your time, man. Don't rush, you know? There's no rush. I'm right now, it's a struggle, you're, you're man. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. I'm I glad to hear that. I was on um, Party, and I was like... Oh, yeah, that was me. Yeah, and I was like, man, I've seen that guy before. And I was like, I, I remember I was watching your videos. Yeah. But yeah, bro. That's dope, man. Yeah, it is dope. Appreciate that, man. What's your uh, name? Lorenzo. Lorenzo, good to yes, meet sir. you, bro. You out of Houston, right? Yeah. That's what's I'm, up. I'm saying it's spring. But, okay. Uh, you know, it's around the around the corner yeah yeah ain't too far all right brother good to meet you man right, take care all right y'all here's the first load we got one pallet here it's about 1200 pounds then we got this uh piece right here which is oversized it's 10 foot wide weighed about 9,000, just under 10 so this is our first run man we're heading over to florida northern florida drop this off and then hopefully pick something up out of out of Jacksonville. Alright, now we know to get in the hammer lane. Fill All right, y'all, here's a little partial we picked up out of Jacksonville. Of course, we got all this space, so we've got to fill this up. 
But yeah, this is our first uh, partial of the day. Today's Wednesday, man, so we're running a little bit behind. We dropped off that oversized load kind of late. We wasn't able to pick anything up, but that's the name of the game, man. So we're getting this day started. All right, guys, so, man, as y'all know, Florida is what it is. We picked up this first partial. Uh, had a tarp, by the way. And then we got this vehicle right here that's heading back with us going west. So yeah, man. They ain't the best, bring me back home. But uh, this is what we looking like. Partials and just loads, man, coming out this way from out of Northern Florida. As y'all know, it's kinda, it sucks. You know, there's a few things, but the rates that they were paying wasn't making any sense. So we grabbed this for about $1.63, and this is $1.42 heading back to uh, to Houston. Well, watch out, drivers. Eva Kaniwa heading down the right shoulder. Eastbound, we're stopping. I told you to take your string tied to your wainer there. Flick it a couple times, see if you can get you something out of there. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I think I'm going to pass on that one. Yeah, I guess that would be a felony. I won't let my old lady tie nothing on my old wiener. I'll be damned if I do it. Should be the last time I'm feeling up before we get back home. Yeah. All right, y'all, so we're home. Let's get into this breakdown real quick. Just gonna go back to what we've done in the past and some of the first videos that I did where I'm gonna pull up my spreadsheet and go over the breakdown on all of our expenses, the entire breakdown of this week and show y'all how pretty uh, you know bad it was. You're gonna have horrible weeks. So this has just been a horrible week for us. I'm not really here to try to sugarcoat anything. I'm not really here to try to please anyone um, in any way, but just kind of being transparent at the same time and showing y'all what this week really looked like. It was a short week. We only ran from Monday to Thursday. Thursday, I was back home Thursday evening, but you know, we took a route to Florida, which might have not been the best option. You know, you can win or you can lose sometimes, you just never know. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna share my screen and let's, um, let's go over this. All right guys, so let's jump into it. Like I said, um, we're gonna talk about the first load. So the first load that we took um, was on a Monday on the 19th of September from LaPorte, Texas to Brooker, Florida. This was an oversized load, so definitely not a good rate for an oversized load, but um, we needed to get out. It was, uh, you know, it was the best paying load um, coming out of uh, Texas at that time, coming out of Houston area. So 887 miles with that head, it was paying, uh, it originally was paying 2,400, 2,450. And, um, you know, wifey was able to get them up to, uh, we, we asked for 2,700 minimum just to cover the permits. They met us at 2650, so we grabbed it. It was only 10 wide. So before deadhead, it was uh, 318 a mile. After the you know deadhead, it was 298 a mile. So again, not the best uh, paying oversized load. Uh, next we did, um, after dropping off that load, we did deadhead to Jacksonville to pick up our next uh, load. And man, it took time to get this load coming up because there was it was just dry. Either the loads were, the boards were dry or there was, the loads just weren't paying, you know, anything. So if, if we, we found this one, it was bringing us back home to the Houston area. So I was like, you know what, I'll take it. We had some stuff to do the following weekend. So we picked this up first, um, 981 miles with Deadhead. You know, we Deadheaded probably about 70 miles from uh, Brooker, Florida to Jacksonville. That was paying 1400. 
and I posted some shorts. I think I had these mixed up. This was paying about $1.54 a mile uh, before Deadhead. Um, and after that had paid a dollar 42 so horrible man horrible for a partial I mean it only took up six feet of deck space So the idea was to maybe you know We had a whole other 34 feet to fill up in hopes, you know to come in this direction that of course didn't work out We did find a vehicle picking up um in Tallahassee Dropping off in Mandeville, Louisiana, which was pretty much in the same route took the uh, the 10 um, then hopped on the 12. So we, we only, I only came off of the highway probably for like a mile and a half to pick up and drop this load. Uh, if you guys know that route. So this one was paying around $1.60 a mile before deadhead for a vehicle. That's pretty good. And, um, I, I actually, I didn't calculate any deadhead into this. Cause like I said, everything was in route. So maybe two, three, four miles. Um, so that was it for the week. We did book another vehicle that ended up getting canceled out of Baton Rouge to bring up, bring it all the way back to Houston. Um, something with paperwork wasn't ready. So it is what it is. Um, in, in all, you know, the total week was 4,649 bucks, um, a total of 1,888 miles. And if you include the vehicle, another 374, it would be more than that. But because it was on the same route, I kind of added that to the same trip coming back home. And that's just pretty much how we decide to calculate the mileage. Um, so in average for the week, $2.46 a mile for the week. Um, in average, including all the deadhead miles, again, you know, horrible. Not, not the worst, not the best. Could definitely be better, especially, you know, with the way things are right now in the market, man. It's just, it's just bad. Let's get down to some of our expenses that are gonna, you know, come out of this, uh, you know, this week's gross. Uh, so to speak. So first we have our storage from this trailer. I pay $25 uh, a week for the 40 foot um, trailer. Our insurance is 365 weekly. Um, the truck payment is 374.75 a week. When we break that down for my phone, it's $15 and 75 cents. For the truck maintenance that we put aside weekly uh, is 200 uh, a week. I've always kept that the same. Our ELD broken down by the uh, weekly is $8. So that in total of $962 for the week for our fixed um, deductions. Now, when we go down to weekly variables, I'm gonna start off with showers. I did take a shower. I thought I had enough points you know, for pilot. Uh, apparently I didn't, so I paid $60. And man, that jumped up a couple of dollars. It used to be about 13, 14, 14 bucks for a shower. So that sucks. Um, I didn't include any food. I actually didn't spend on food because wifey cooked and what I did do for that short week was able you know to sustain me as far as food for that week didn't do a truck wash uh did pay for tolls i took tolls because i needed to get to the pickup asap so that was about 10 bucks permits the permits for the oversized load totaled up 107 dollars and 87 cents i think texas bought like 60 something bucks and the other states are a little bit cheaper between 21 10 bucks and things like that the fuel that we spent in total for the week as you guys saw in the video um i made about three stops for fuel that in total of that was a total of 1291 bucks and 79 cents um i stayed in a hotel man the first night i was out i drove kind of late all the way till nightfall based on you know what you can do with an oversized load in the area that i stopped man there was no parking i had the option to park kind of in a parking lot of a uh, TA, but just didn't like it. You know, it wasn't in a good area, so I just booked a hotel and I was tired. So that was $78.78. Supplies are gonna be um, my death fluid. I had about, I used about three bottles of death fluid and it totaled up $31.44. I included the dispatching cost because some people watching this, if you guys are outsourcing that, you still have to take that out of your uh, gross. So 10% of the gross was $464.90. So that we paid to the wife for dispatching. Um, so total weekly variables, 1,985 bucks. After you deduct everything, you know, from the gross, and I haven't even paid myself yet, you know. So if you guys have drivers and if you guys are, you know, paying a driver for a week like this, this number of course is gonna change. So $1,702 is pretty much the net after the expenses that we went over have been paid. So like I said, man, not a good week. Um, the company would have probably not barely, you know, probably barely made any money or even broke even as y'all can see here after paying the driver. It was uh, just not a good week, you know, for the company, I would say. So that's gonna wrap it up, man. $1,702 would be the next. And there you guys have it. That's the week of running from Monday to Thursday. And um, that's it, man. You know, hopefully next week will be a banger. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna share that with you guys. Um, stay tuned, we got some other content coming. As y'all know how the market is, man, it definitely does suck. So it is what it is. Just wanted to be transparent with you guys and show you guys what this week looked like. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.